23,500 people have participated in the survey. Should the teddy bear fence stay or should it go? Uh, just over 90% say stay. But there are a lot of uh, haters of the teddy bear fence. And Morsi, I, I actually think, you know, when, when you've got a radio station like this, you should give a balanced opinion. So I thought mm. we'd read out some of the mean tweets or the uh, <laughs> the hate the bears have been getting. Oh, um, who hates a bear? Well, let's, uh, Elizabeth does. I've got one here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Elizabeth says, personally, I couldn't waste a perfectly good toy in this manner. I'd like to remove them and donate the good ones to a children's charity or hospital. Oh. It's a good suggestion, Elizabeth. You should do that. Um, I've got one. Chris Cross. We'll make you jump, jump. He's Cross. Yes, I dobbed on the bears. <laughs> The difference is I actually live on the York Peninsula and no one here who's commented does. I'm a local who's sick of tourists coming down and leaving your rubbish. Was he the old man crying in the SA Tourism ad? <laughs> Sounds like it could be that guy. <laughs> what about this? I've got another one here. Peter Dunn. Peter Dunn. Oh, Peter Dunn, he could be from uh, York Peninsula. He says, Peter says, sorry, but it's an eyesore, potential fire hazard and a snake hideaway. <laughs> Snake hideaway. I got called that once. Uh, Nicole Green, to be honest, they gave me the creeps. Uh, What about this one? Got another mean tweet here from uh, Philip and Corinne. Uh, Philip and Corinne on their Facebook say it's an eyesore. It's potentially damaging to the environment. It's a traffic hazard. It's a bad look for travellers to the York Peninsula. Well, I say Philip and Corinne sharing a Facebook page together. Your joint opinion (laughs) doesn't stand up. And uh, to Philip, why don't you let Corinne have some freedom and stop being such a control freak and let her have her own Facebook page, <laughs> Philip and Corinne. <laughs> I don't know. Being with joint Facebook pages, mm. it just makes me edgy. Or if your car's your profile picture. They're always the ones that troll me. The are ones they? with a truck or a car <laughs> are always the ones that hate on me. It's funny if you go to – when someone says something like nasty about you on social media and then you go, oh, that's not very nice. And then you click on their Facebook profile and then you look at it and you just go – Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One from Shane Sanders. 2,000 non-fire retardant bears sure is a huge fuel load for a bushfire. How do you know they're non-fire retardant? Yeah. Did you check the logo? logo, logo so, label? The, so there's some of the uh, <laughs> there's some of the tweets, and we're getting bombarded with messages of support for the, uh, for yes. the teddy bear fence, which is absolutely lovely. And do you know what, folks? And here's the thing: and when people like uh, judge people on radio or TV or whatever, they get up in arms when they disagree with you about something. Mm. But here's the reality: when you look at your circle of friends, your really close friends, you love them dearly, you do anything for them, but you still disagree on some topics. Whether some people, the 10% of people that don't want the teddy bear, that doesn't, bo- that doesn't bother me. I don't mm. dislike that proportion of the population. I just kind of acknowledge they have a differing opinion over something that I do that I also share with the 90% majority. <laughs> so, ha, 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 ha.